Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new on my channel then welcome. Today's video is going to be a tutorial and it is the look that you can see on my face. It is a cut crease but you cannot actually tell that it's a cut crease unless I move my head around like this then you can see where the crease is actually cut. If I'm completely honest right off the bat uh, this wasn't actually what I had in mind when I started doing this look. I had a whole different thing envisioned in my brain but this is what came out and honestly I actually do like that you know the cut crease is kind of hidden it's almost like a smoky eye slash cut crease since you guys told me that you wanted to see the morphe 35v palette again and that you wanted me to use more of these like bluish and purplish and greenish shades well i didn't use the purple but i did use the bluish shades and also a bit of the green at the top i just tried different things now to warn you guys um this video was probably the most difficult one that I've ever had to do simply because I was struggling so much at one point that I almost didn't think that this look was going to work out in the end. That's how bad it got. So yeah, this is definitely my messiest look yet. And you guys have seen some really messy, ugly, all over the place stuff. You've seen it, I know you have, but this tops it all. This is like beyond everything that you've seen before on my channel. So this look <laughs> is going to get extremely ugly, extremely ugly before it starts looking like this. So yeah, just push through it. <laughs> so if you want to see me struggling and also how the struggles end up looking like this, then just keep on watching. Okie doke, let's do this. So I have already prepped my face. I used my trusty and beloved Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, mostly on my T-zone and just like on the center of my face. And then I also used some of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter on like the high points. And then I also used the Catrice Camouflage Cream Concealer in the shade Rosy Sand. And I applied that underneath my eyes as I always do, but I also applied it on my eyelids because I was just too lazy to use anything else so I kind of used it to prep my eyes and then I set it down on my eyelids only with the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the shade Warm Light. I uh, decided to go with the Morphe 35V and I'm going to be doing a cut crease but I want to do this as my like the main color on my eyes so yeah we will see what comes out okay okay so I'm gonna stop talking and let us get into the eye look so the first shade I'm going to dip into is this one it's called go nude and uh, I'm just going to use this in my crease it's pretty much like a skin tone color so it won't give us too much pigment or anything like that. It is just going to lay down a soft base. Next up, I'm going to take this shade over here, which is called Devoted, and it is a beautiful matte forest green shade. And I'm really not all too worried about the outer corner because I'm going to clean it up afterwards anyway, so doesn't really matter all that much. It's just important to get the blend to a point that you are satisfied with. And then I'm going to go back in with the previous brush and I'm going to take some more of the shade Go Nude. I think I want to take it a bit higher because I also want to deepen up the crease, like the, the part where we are going to cut the crease. So I'm, I think I need to take it a bit higher. Yeah, something like this. Although I have to say it looks much more blue than I thought it was going to, but that's fine. Okay, so now that we have something like this, <laughs> which is not the most flattering, but you guys know how my looks go. I'm going to take this shade right over here, which is like a deep, deep navy blue, and this one is called Fling. Just to blend the edge a bit, I'm taking the previous brush and just very lightly, I'm barely touching my skin. Okay, and now just to deepen up the crease even more. As I said, I'm going to go in with the black shade, which is called Little Black Book. Going back with the previous brush, brushing over that black edge. Okay. 
I'm going to take a bit more of the shade Devoted, that foresty green that turned out to be blue. I'm going to run over the upmost edges. Okay, so now we get to the most tricky part, which is actually calming out the eyelid and cutting the crease. So I'm going to take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, yes, in the shade Vanilla. This is what I always use when I'm doing half cut creases full-on cut creases, whatever, I always use this. Taking a bit of that, I'm going to start carving out first the, the first half of my lid and then drawing out the tail end and trying to match the other eye. Okay, so since um, they are not completely matching, this one is a bit more arched than this one. So I'm going to take the same navy blue called fling and on a very small detail brush i'm going to start cleaning it up a bit and i'm also taking a bit of the shade little black book and just running over the edges on both eyes at the moment i just want to start working on the lid so that we could get the whole picture i'm going to take the shade room for two and i'm going to start packing that on my like the first third of my lid. Okay, I just realized how bad all of this looks on camera. Before going in with the shade that is going to be like the star of the show, I want to add some NYX Glitter Primer just to make that color even more prominent. And now going in with the shade Stud, I'm going to start patting that on the lid. Let me try and pick this up with my finger. And now I'm just using the brush again to get into those edges. So even though the look is not done, I had to clean up my under eyes because it was turning into such a shit show. So I cleaned up the edges, I cleaned up the fallout on my cheeks, and I also reapplied the Catrice uh, Camouflage Concealer and also some uh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base because I just felt like I needed it. I really, really, really like the shade Stud. Um, I don't know that I even showed it to you guys. Well, I did at the beginning of the video, but it's this one. But we still need to do some damage control uh, when it comes to this cut crease because at the moment it doesn't really look like a cut crease. I need to just define the edges a bit. Let's see if we can salvage this look. I'm going to take the black because the shade stud is already really, really dark. This needs some extra work. So I'm going to dip back into the navy blue shade. I'm going to start blending that black that we just put down. And now the last step, I'm taking the shade Devoted, the first forest green shade that we took. And again, I'm just lightly running over the uppermost edges. Let us move on to the face. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so excited to tell you about this one. I have been using this non-stop ever since I got this. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and mine is in the shade Dovi yet again. This foundation just looks so incredibly, incredibly beautiful on the skin. And I mean, it's the funniest thing. Do you see this? This is one full pump. I'm not joking. Like when I first tried this, see, okay, just let me. This is a full pump. When I first tried this, I thought this, this must be a joke. Like I'm going to go through this foundation so quickly. Why does only so little come out? But the reason why so little comes out at a time is because this thing has got some coverage. I don't know what it is about NARS, but I feel like they, they make foundations the best. I don't know anyone, any other brand that does foundation quite like NARS does. They just, they just know things. They know things that other brands don't. Because as you can see, my face is pretty much covered from those two, two teeny tiny pumps. But I am going to build it up, so I'm going to take some more. Now before I go and speed through the rest of my face makeup, I wanted to share this with you guys as well. This is also quite new to my collection and this is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. Mine is in the shade Cream Cafe. I uh, saw Kathleen Lights talking about this first and 
pretty much every single thing that she loves I end up loving as well so it's like a safe bet this is a really 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 nice concealer and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know how I feel about this I love how it gives the coverage but it doesn't look drying or cakey underneath my eyes and uh, yeah it's amazing anyway I just wanted to share those newer products with you now we can go on move on to the rest of the face I will speed you guys through it uh, and I will leave on the screen everything that I'm using and then we will finish up the eyes Okay, so we are almost done guys. We just have to finish up the lower lash line, um, apply some falsies and a lip and we'll be all done. So I want to apply the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 22 Turquoise in my waterline. So now you would think that I'm going to go in with a bright blue on my under eye, but no. <laughs> I want to try something different. So I'm going to take this shade right over here. It's a beautiful coppery shade and it is called Private Party. I want to keep the coppery shade on the front part of my lower lash line. So I'm going to take a bit more of the shade and I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on the shade as well. I'm going to keep it just in this section right over here. And I'm going to deepen up the outer part, the outer corner, with the same navy blue that we used on the top lid. I think it will tie in a bit better. And I'm also going to take a bit of the black shade and just run it very close. And now as the last thing, I'm just going to pat over the front part to add back that coppery spark. And I'm also going to go back in with the turquoise eye pencil. I'm taking the shade Swipe Bright. One last time I'm going to brighten up the inner corner and now all that's left to do is apply some mascara, apply some falsies, put on some lipstick and also spritz my face with all different kinds of spray so that the makeup would last on my skin and then we are all done. And that was the look guys. I'm actually so shocked that we managed to get here somehow. I have to be honest, at one point I was kind of scared myself that this look wasn't going to come together in the end because it just got so messy. But we did get something out of this. It is again a super bold look, like an incredibly bold look. What can I say? Uh, having played around with this palette some more and now doing this look as well, Again, I feel exactly the same way that I did before. The shadows are nice and creamy and blendable, but, oh, and also pigmented, but the upper part is already looking a bit faded, like there's not as much pigment as there was before, 
I don't know, maybe it's all in my head, but that's just, that's seriously how I feel. Anyway, next time I promise I will do something less colorful, something a bit more neutral, something just like every day, something more wearable basically. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this tutorial and the look that came out, then please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are not part of this family yet, then subscribe and become a member of this family. <laughs> Thanks so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!